Hi, it's Pastor Paul L. Anderson here at the Fountain of Raleigh Fellowship, where we believe God's blessings never stop flowing. It is Marvelous Monday. I hope you had a wonderful weekend. I know I did. You know, the Lord blesses us every moment that we just open up our eyes and live life. Why? Because he gives us the best life you can ever ask for. That is the abundant life. The abundant life come in knowing Jesus Christ as our Lord and our Savior. And therefore, we can tell of his goodness everywhere we go. Today, I want to ask that you would look with me as we see God's goodness through and by Peter and John as they stand before the council. Acts the fourth chapter verses 1 through 12. A very powerful message. We find that Peter and John are now speaking to the people and they're confronted by the, pe by the priests and we find it's the captain of the temple guards and some of the other Sadducees. As these leaders are now confronting Peter and John, they were teaching the, to the people all about Jesus, about his resurrection from the dead. They arrested them and since it was already evening, they put them in jail until the morning. But many of the people who had heard about this message, they believed it. And a number of them began to believe and it totaled about 5,000. They were now changing the course and the direction of their city. They were changing all of those who were the registered voters. It begins to let us see and helps us to understand when people have a transformation in their lives, they can never deal with the status quo as it has been. So now the next day, the council and the rulers and the leaders get together. And as they're meeting in Jerusalem, Ananias, who was the high priest, was there, along with Caiaphas and John and Alexander and the other relatives of the high priest. And they brought these two disciples before them and they asked them the question, by what power and whose name do you do? Do you do this? Then Peter, filled with the Holy Spirit, said, rulers and elders and people, you question us today. By what power do we do this? How was how was this crippled man healed? Do you know how he was healed? Let me clearly tell you how he was healed. It was by the power of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, the man who was crucified, whom God has raised from the dead, the Jesus, the one in whom you sentenced to death. But we know he is the stone that you all rejected, but he is now the chief and the cornerstone. My brothers and sisters, this message reminds us that when we stand before people and they ask us what power and by what power do we have to do this? We let them know it is by the power of almighty God. Today, I want you to know that whatever the circumstance or situation is in your life, if you just allow it to be into the hands of our almighty, powerful God and through the salvific work of Jesus at Calvary, you will know how it's done. The man was healed by the power of God. Today, let's tell everybody what the power of Jesus can do when applied into our lives. Today, ask the Holy Spirit to reveal his power to you, that you and I can go away from here today saying, just as the man was healed, I've been healed and set free. And he whom the Son sets free is free indeed. Well, Peter and John kept on preaching. I want to invite you to keep on telling the world about the goodness of Almighty God. And always know you're exceedingly and abundantly blessed. And God has a great blessing blessing in store for you in this year of 2022. And we'll look forward to talking with you again on tomorrow. To sow a seed to the Fountain of Raleigh Fellowship, visit our newly redesigned website, thefountainofraleigh.org and select Sow a Seed from the homepage. Also, giving has been made easier with the new Fountain of Raleigh app available now in the Apple App Store and Google Play Store. Download today, select giving from the main menu and then follow the directions to complete your giving through Subsplash. Thank you so very much for all of your gifts and donations that you've given to the Fountain of Raleigh Fellowship. We thank you for what you've done in the past, what you're currently doing, and what you will do in the future. Your gifts and donations helps us to spread the gospel of Jesus Christ, not only locally, but throughout the world. Thank you again for your gifts, and may God continue to richly bless you. It is here at the Fountain that we believe that we are exceedingly and abundantly blessed, and may you receive those blessings that God has in store for you. Okay.